Describe what happens to the motion of a moving object when I. There is no resultant force acting on it. Double I. A resultant force is applied to it in the opposite direction to the motion. Triple I. A resultant force is applied to it in a perpendicular direction to the motion. Let's see I. Before we answer this question, we must pay attention of something. That the question is talking about an object that is already moving. Question I says that. What will happen to this moving object? The object is not at rest. If there is no resultant force acting on it. Actually, if an object is moving and no resultant force is acting on this object, this object will continue moving with constant speed. And no changes will happen to its motion. Let's see double I. What if we have a moving object and there is a resultant force which is opposite to the direction of motion? If the resultant force is opposite to the direction of motion, this moving object will decelerate. You can say slow down, but you cannot say that this object will move backwards. The third question is a little different. What if this moving object is having a resultant force that is perpendicular to the direction of its motion? If this car is moving by the direction shown by the blue arrow and a force is applied perpendicular to its motion, this car will change direction. This is named centripetal force. When the car changes direction, if this force is still there, it will change its direction again. This will happen again and again as long as this perpendicular force is applied. When a force is applied perpendicular to the direction of motion of any object, this object will turn. You can say it will move in a circle. You can also say it will keep changing direction as long as this force is still applied. A short answer is moves in a circle. The mark scheme awards the marks for I. If no resultant force, you can say nothing will happen or continues as before. You can say the same. You can say constant velocity. You can say constant speed. You can also say that there will be no acceleration or deceleration. For double I, which is asking for if the force is opposing the direction of motion, you can say any idea about retardation. But Ignore stop, ignore breaks, ignore goes in opposite direction. The word retardation or deceleration are more general. Triple I, what about the force that is applied perpendicular to the direction of motion? You can say it will move in an arc of a circle. You can say it will move in a curve or deflected, turns, changes direction. Each one of these points is for one mark.